Hey YouTube, today we are going to look at the AMD Ryzen 7 9700X. So this is the newly awaited Zen 5. These CPUs are a lot more energy efficient than the previous generation. However, they also are much better overclockers because they are, I don't know, it's, it's almost like AMD has returned to the way CPU launches used to be in the past, where you would buy a CPU and you would be able to overclock it. You'd be able to get, you know, upwards of 20% uplift or more. After Ryzen came out, AMD and Intel were very competitive with each other, so they basically factory overclocked everything, and that's the reason why things like the 7700X target 95 degrees Celsius. That's why the Intel CPUs are kind of self-destructing right now, because they're just pushed so far that the reliability comes into question. So the Ryzen 9000, I think a lot of reviewers, there's kind of mixed reviews on this. I think a lot of people miss the point or they forget just how it used to be when a CPU would launch and you would play the silicon lottery and you would, you would look at how far you could push the silicon and that sort of thing. I think a lot of that sort of enthusiast hobby is gone or it's definitely evaporated over the years with the newer Intel and AMD CPUs where they just are kind of overclocked out of the box and they run really hot and they use a lot of power. That's basically how an overclocked CPU works. So we're gonna be looking at the 9700X. I'm gonna do my own review. This is not a review sample. I had to actually go purchase this with my own money. So if you guys like this sort of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It does support me, it does motivate me to keep making these types of videos. We are gonna be doing an overclock guide. We are gonna be doing an optimization guide, that sort of thing. I think it's going to pretty much be the opposite of what we showed with the Zen 4 CPUs where it was all about trying to maximize the voltage frequency curve to get lower temperatures or higher boost at the same uh, power. Whereas with this, I think it's basically going to be raising the power and seeing more of like a traditional overclock approach, kind of like overclocking a GPU. So let's go ahead and open it up here to see what's in the box. You get the, it's pretty minimal packaging, very similar to the Zen 4 Ryzen 7. And I think in here, there should be something about an install guide or something like that, or warranty info. Yeah, so it does have instructions on how to install an AM5 CPU. One thing that did change, the sticker is different. This is now the new, this is like the Strix Point laptop CPUs in terms of how the sticker looks. If we go and look at the old, the old Zen 4, the old Zen 4 had a more traditional rise with the Enzo symbol in the back there, that circle. So they're kind of moving away from that. And other than that, if we look at the CPUs, okay, just kind of looking at these up close here, the previous 7700X had a more like a uh, greenish color on its PCB or interposer, whereas the 9700X actually has more of like uh, blue. It's interesting. It's like a bluish green color as opposed to the traditional green that you would see on the older Zen 4 CPU. So that is something that is different. It still has the exact same 17, 18, so 1,718 pins. So it is socket compatible with AM5. So you can use any any AM5 motherboard as long as it has the correct BIOS. So you do want to make sure that you update the BIOS using BIOS flashback. Or if you're someone like me and you're just going straight from Zen 4 to Zen 5, you can upgrade the BIOS using the, the tool inside the BIOS itself. And then you can just, after you update the BIOS, you can power off the PC and swap CPUs. Um, but if you don't have one of these and you're buying this new as of launch day or moving forward, and you're buying an older AMD motherboard like a X670, for example, X670E, B650E, unless, the, unless you're at a micro center and micro center actually does have a lot of motherboards in stock that already have the updated BIOS, so you don't have to do the BIOS update, if you're buying a motherboard online, there's no way of really knowing if it has the newer BIOS from May of this year or newer that has the Agisa 1170 or 1200, which supports the 
Ryzen 9000 series. So that's one thing to be aware of if you're going to upgrade to this and you're moving from a much older CPU, like a five-year or seven-year old CPU. This is going to be an amazing upgrade if you're somebody who is on any of these older CPUs shown here. But I'll be doing my own review. Stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.